Jack, pro debut coming up. Exciting times for you. Yeah, very exciting. Um, it's been a long time coming, so I've been an amateur for quite a few years now. And uh, this is something I've always wanted to do. And uh, what a better place to do it than uh, in my hometown, uh, one of the biggest arenas we've got. It's a great place to make a debut, isn't it, in, uh, in Leeds in front of your home fans? Oh, yeah, it's huge. I mean, Josh is really uh, carrying the flag for Leeds Boxing at the minute. And just to be a part of that is just uh, going to be a, something real special. For those who don't know, you tell me a little bit about your amateur background. You're a, a well-schooled amateur. Yeah, I won uh, five national titles as a junior. Uh, got to two senior ABA finals. Boxed for England a couple of times and had over 70 bouts. And only lost a couple, so yeah, I'm well-schooled. You're opening the show, but uh, I would imagine there'll be one or two in there from Leeds watching you. Oh yeah, there's a... Uh, well, I've sold quite a lot of tickets and then you've got a couple of Leeds lads on the shows as well so we're all going to come together on the night and uh, yeah, it's going to be a great crowd. How do you think your transition into the programme will go? Uh, what are you expecting? Well, I'm not going to uh, try and change how I box because that's worked up till now. Obviously, you've got to adapt because Pro Style is a completely different ball game. But um, yeah, I'm just going to take my time in there and see how the first few rounds go and then... Yeah, just take it from there, really. Your debut's against Hungarian Roland Petrix. Uh, what are you expecting? Do you know anything about him? No, I know his record and that's about it. Um, so I've trained for a, a four-round war. Um, hopefully it won't come to that, but um, yeah, I'm just going to see how he is first couple of rounds. For those who uh, haven't seen you, what can uh, they expect from you? Well, I'm a, a tall southpaw, so I like to box on the back foot, but I can also fight as well, so I can kind of do a bit of everything, really. Now, there's a couple of other good British uh, super featherweights on the bill, both unbeaten. I think after you've done your business, you'll be uh, interested in seeing them, won't you? Yeah, the, there's uh, a lot of good lads around that division. So, uh, I'm just going to focus on my first few fights, see how that goes, and then we can uh, monitor the, the big boys then. Have you set yourself any targets or ambitions? Uh, not, not at this point. I'd like to get to British title level, perhaps. But like I said, just because I was a good amateur doesn't mean I'll necessarily get to that level as a, a pro. But we'll see how it goes. All the very best to you. Thanks. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.